A new study led by scientists at George Washington University has found that a concerning percentage of chocolate products sold nationwide contain elevated levels of heavy metals such as lead and cadmium. Surprisingly, the highest concentrations were found in organic products. Dr. Nidhi Kumar, cardiovascular disease specialist, is on call to tell us more. Welcome. Hi, good morning. Anytime we say chocolate, I'm, I'm like perked up. So what did the study find and how did these metals get into the foods that we eat. So it was a multi-year study. They analyzed over 70 different candy bars mm. found in our basic grocery store and they found that over 40 percent were contaminated with lead and over 30 percent were contaminated with cadmium. I mean you know this is pretty incredible. Right. Now how does it get in there? Well it's known that the cocoa plant will take up cadmium but in terms of lead which is really concerning it's unclear if it's that that's happening during processing from fertilizer or from soil. Now surprisingly organic products had higher levels of contamination and so did dark chocolate which is my favorite. Right, and that's what everyone's saying, go organic and do you dark know, eat dark chocolate. Yeah. So given these findings, I mean, what should we be doing differently? Well, it's really, I'm not gonna tell people not to eat chocolate, because last week I told you not to eat cold cuts, so I'm not gonna <laughs> do that. But it's, it's really about knowing who's the most susceptible, and that's gonna be children and pregnant women, mm. okay? Because we really wanna limit exposure to these populations, so diversifying the diet, limiting how much that you're taking in. You really shouldn't be eating chocolate every day hmm. if you're part of that population or anyone for that matter. So lead poisoning is always a concern, especially, you know, with children, as you were saying. How do we get kids exposed to lead, you know, when it's a problem? How do we know and what are the symptoms where we should be concerned? Well, the big exposures occur with toys that are often made abroad because they're using paints that have lead in them and you can't really have little kids keep toys out of their mouths and also children that are living in homes that were built before 1978 often have lead paint often have older pipes uh, symptoms to look out for hyperactivity memory difficulties difficulties with learning headaches muscle aches anemia so if your children are showing any of these signs it's important to you know mm -hmm. seek health uh, health care provider most kids should be getting tested regularly for lead levels and what can we do to keep our family safe with from lead well multivitamins are great oh. because having adequate amounts of iron in your system calcium and vitamin C actually prevents the absorption of lead uh, also buy less toys mm. invest in higher quality toys and ha you know so you'll have products in your house that don't have lead and if you are living in a house that was built before 1978 you can uh, reach out to your Department of Health and you can actually get the dust in your house tested for lead and don't you find, because I know our kids are older, that yeah. they really only like, like, just throw a box out there or, you know, some spoons. They don't even need all these toys that everyone They love the packaging exactly. more than anything yes. else. <laughs> Dr. Nidhi Kumar, thank you so much for it's being here. I really appreciate you. it.